Hey folks, I'm Thervain Glory, and welcome to part 23 of my playthrough of Scotland in the uh, Universalis 4. Uh, we're supposed to be going for the Old Alliance reversed achievement, so we have to vassalise France. Uh, so to that end, we had invaded Europe, finally, after taking the whole of Ireland, so that we could get some borders and start getting some claims on France. However, it expanded too quickly, and I thought I was going to have enough time I didn't think aggressive expansion was that bad. I thought I'd be able to get people to like me enough. Uh, but shortly after we finished this war, East Frisia le uh, led a coalition against us. And England and Spain both joined me. I thought I had strong allies and that would deter the coalition. But I think Spain had absolutely no troops. Or if they did, they lost them very quickly because they were totally ravaged and forced out of the war. Uh, so eventually I had to make peace with the coalition which required me to release all of these states in Ireland and the Isles as well. To make things worse, uh, we were also at war when uh, Denmark saw the opportunity, they declared war on us for Sutherland uh, and beat their armies comprehensively on land but then I foolishly decided to bring the army over to try and get rid of the rebels here. So the army was disembarking for the ships when Denmark appeared and attacked us. So we're probably going to lose our army. Uh, we still have 2.1k men here. We've got no manpower. What we do have though are loans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 loans. So we are in absolutely terrible shape. But never mind. Uh, <laughs> I have realised it's been so long since I played this game. Uh, I've forgotten most of how you're supposed to go about it. Uh, we're at war, blah blah blah. Yeah, Dust oil estates as well, of course. So, let's crack on. Uh, watch this army drown when the ships get shot out from underneath it. 6,000, 4,000. Okay, we lost, we only lost one ship, well, <laughs> they only captured one ship, but we lost 11 of our cogs. You're heading home and you're stuck there until such time as... Uh, I was thinking I should march them in here, but I don't have military access any longer. So, oh, we've got 4,000 men here. You march into Perth. France and Spain have gone to war. That's what I was looking for to happen. <laughs> Once I had got a few claims up here and solidified my position. Anyway, uh, Denmark, you're not ever going to agree to peace because we're now so weak. Now you would want Sutherland and Inverness. Um, I can't, can't do that. Military access from Spain. Fine. Uh, fill your boots. How can we still be losing? Well, I suppose we're losing money because we've lost all these territories. Um, let's mothball all the ships because we're not going to be using them for a long time. You sit on Sutherland. Just so that Denmark know that I'm not giving it up entirely. If need be, I will raise more mercenaries. That's where all the loans came from. Right? As well as having war with East Frisia, war with Denmark, uh, rebe rebels popped here. We also had 29,000 rebels popped in West March. Uh, and I had, I think, 7,000 strong army here. So we had to raise 20 odd mercs to go and deal with these guys. 
so we'll still improving relations in here in the hope that we might be able to get an alliance with them, get them vassalized again eventually. Still losing cash. Uh, I'm not going to put the army maintenance down, that would be the last straw. Denmark. We might eventually manage to get peace with Denmark. We did, as I said, wipe out their armies quite comprehensively. They've got rebel problems of their own to deal with. So there is the chance that if they stop blockading our ports, we continue holding the war goal, that we can get out of the Danish war without any more losses. But yeah, that coalition was obviously the absolute killer for us. Uh, I think they had something like 100,000 troops nearly. That's not good. Papal state, state in this may survival. Uh, lose a diplo power. Discipline, let's fire him. We might bring him back. Okay, <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. What not that long ago, I was contemplating beginning wars against France, uh, saving up my papal influence to try and get France excommunicated. Those days are long gone now. Um, what about the advisors? Prestige is already negative. We've got more rebels about to pop. Um, would this do me any good? Not really, the influence is too low. Lose loyalty. How the hell do it anyway? Send an emissary, get 10 influence. I think we'll do that. And then here, uh, can you grant us a generalship again? No, oh, I can't have you lose loyalty. So give us a general, get your influence back up. Uh, where's this going to pop? Ah, oh, Flemish separatists. That's okay. 100 admin power, yeah, whatever. Where's this? Uh, it's not going to pop, hopefully. Because we lost all those Irish territories. Uh, they don't have the power any longer. Okay, yep. more enthusiasm still high, despite the rebel problems. Minus nine, we're getting there. Just Bugger off, go send your ships home. And then we might be able to get peace. What do we have? Uh, seven regiments. A total of 5,000 men. Oh, fin <laughs> we finished coding Artois. Great. Um, yeah, so let's. Uh, Consolidate them, and that should hopefully reduce our costs a bit. And we've only got a couple of weak units there. 
Note that it makes much difference. Lose two war exhaustion. Superb. Exactly what I needed. Uh, in here, oh, unrest is massive there. Let's. <laughs> what difference does it make? Give them the autonomy anyway. Lost our claim on Calais. I don't have the money for states at the moment. So Burgundian separatists rise up. That's fine. Another two are exhaustion. Fantastic. Loads of babies popping out. Pity they don't have a decent air. Right, there's 23% war score. Ah, so close. Go away, ships. Don't care about your rebels. Scottish rebels have disappeared. They got bored. There we are. Demand tribute. Fantastic. Well, we're going to hang on then. If that more score pops up a wee bit longer, I'm going to get some cash out of them. No! Pull your ships back and I'll agree to peace. Could I get the Orkneys? I think I'd rather have the cash, to be honest. Um, no, we can't get them anyway, so money it is. Then what exhaustion, other what enthusiasm is decreasing. Let's speed up a bit. We'll let the war score tick up. And we're making positive cash now that our, and our army's not fully recruited. Uh, we have 876 manpower, so let's pay the elite troops. Ah, we lost our alliances with Spain and, Engl and England. Oh, that would have been part of that war uh, coalition. Never mind. Uh, actually, now that you've drawn that to my attention, well, yeah, we can get an alliance once the war's over. Do I want to get the admin take? Interest per annum makes a bit of sense now. Get that down. Okay, lose 60 ducats and lose 15 admin power. National unrest to minus two or gain five legitimacy. I think the national unrest. Um, no, well actually, national unrest isn't a ma massive problem. So let's keep the cash, we'll take legitimacy. That's not my problem. I don't think um, Denmark are going to pull their ships back. Okay, 
uh, who else in here would I want good relations with? Probably here. Uh, I've still got my real marriages with England and Spain. Well, at least that's something. And lose a stab. Yeah, we'll lose the government and form progress. Denmark. I'm going to let you tick up to 30% or until you pull your ships back. 30% there it is. So we can get all of that. And I don't think we'll be able to manage anything else out of this. Seven hundred and fifty two probably lets me pay off about three loans, maybe four. And then have the war reps ongoing. Or how much was it? That potentially could pay off all of the loans. But we're not getting that out, are we? No, not with ward reps. Without ward reps. I think we'll probably go with the cash. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Yeah, interest rate at 3.5% on all of these loans, it's better to get rid of them. So that's what we're going to do. Give me all your cash. Don't darken my doorstep again. Okay. Um, exiled armies. Oh, great. Stay where you are. And mothball you. Get you down there to bring the guys home. <laughs> I could become the defender of the faith. You're right. Okay, uh, repay loans. So, yes, yes. I maybe not repay them all. No, I, I, can, I can manage it. I'll, at least with some money left over. Absolutely brilliant. Let's get army maintenance down. Doesn't make a huge difference because the army's so small these days. And bring this down for what that's worth. To there. And what else do we do? We mothbound forts. We unmothbound the fleet and we'll get that out. What's left of it to make us some cash. On the high seas, you can buy it down to Perth. Right. Uh, no, uh, stay in Perth. England. Let's get this alliance back. It's not quite paid off so far, having an alliance with England. They did help me against, uh, against Burgundy. I've lost this. Uh, well, we just need to go and retake that as well. Uh, and the alliance with Spain 
And again, as I said earlier, it didn't really help much at all. So I'll leave that. Um, let's. And our hebrides. What's your story? You take an alliance. You're not that far away from vassalization. So that um, yeah, so the alliance and then get a royal marriage and we'll be nearly there. Get you vassalized again. Well actually we're just maxed out our relations. Mind you are in Oh yeah, awfully. Let's go an alliance with Tyrone. And what does that leave me? We'll get one more alliance in here. Uh, I think with Donegal. And he wouldn't accept minus 32. So improved relations there. Uh, our ship is down here. Let, let's uh, split you in half. You guys get on the boats, we'll get you home. You're almost ready to go out. Uh, Burgundians have risen up. You can rise up. And we'll manage off from the Isles. Yeah, well why not? We're going to have them as one of our relationships for a while anyway. And the Royal Marriage Offer from Tyrone. You guys on the boats. Okay, heretics encroach on our land. Lose 10 prestige, 50 diplo power, nah, I think we'll just gain the CB. Oops, our, well, we've got James of York as our leader, we've got Wallace Cameron as well, who's not bad. Military tech, I'll have a look at that in a minute. You guys up there, you back to being mothballed. You're ready to go. You get out in the high sea, protect trade in the North Sea. And we've lost all that trade power as well from losing Ireland. Okay. Still, we're still in the game. Let's just put us back a bit. When does this. <laughs> we've still got 300 years roughly. You have plenty of time. Will France do something about that when their war down here is over? Hopefully. Things are fine there. Uh, Fossilisation, minus 29. What's the negative coming from? Economic base and military power. Of course. Austria is considered a great power. We were looking at Austria as a potential ally at one point. Hmm. Ferrara. 
Ferrara is massive. And we've got the embargo on them, that's good. Okay, you guys are out doing your thing. We're making 4.7 gold. I suppose I should invest some of this money then. Get you. Yeah, we'll go with the church. Ayrshire. Yeah, church in there as well. Perth. Aberdeen. We can have a church. Okay. Gain 10 prestige sounds good to me. Yeah. Don't want to anger England. That is true. English opinion of us is important. I used to have relations with Offaly. Let's get an alliance with you then. We need a royal marriage with Spain to end. He's 29 there. He's 21. Not insurmountable, I suppose. Uh, especially, uh, can we improve relations? Not really. You. Um, we need to wait just now, anyway. Spain's not really uh, much of a, an advantage to us. Let's break the royal ties. And boost the stability back up. Let's do it again. Well, the doing's good. Military tech. I'm going to hang on just now. There's no great rush to get up there. Get the trade ideas, that would be good. Let's go ahead, get us another merchant. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> Just after I've spent money on stability. Okay, so to con with Max Doubt. We've got an alliance in here anyway. Let's get us a royal marriage. Got one in there already. Gift and a final bit of improving relations would be enough. Go ahead and improve relations there.
No, it's getting worse. Okay. How much do we make now? 5.4. Let's spend some of that on troops. Losing all our claims. It's worked so hard to get. Come on, France, come up and kill these guys. Oh, they've gone already, I think. Unless they've wandered off into the heart of France somewhere. Um, I'm going to start puffing my chest out. So let's get four of them. And that's our cash blown already. Okay, work on them. We'll get some more infantry when we get our money up. And we'll do that in the next part, I think. So I'm going to put a break in here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.